Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine as you know we are reading a lesson from 12th class english flamingo the lesson is titled as the lost lesson or written by alphonse dodet in today's class today's lesson we will be discussing lost para from lost para page 4 flamingo now let us start poor man it was in honor of his lost lesson that he had put on his sunday fine clothes and now i understood why the old men of the villagers were sitting there in the back of the room in the back of the room so here one here is one word that is sunday clothes sunday clothes means the best dress that a person has sunday clothes yahan pe ek word hai iski meaning jo hai that is the best dress that a person has now let me explain this uh the students now friends knew that miss hamel was wearing his best dress in honor of his lost lesson mr hamel who is teacher of mr friends who is teacher of that school who was teaching there since 40 years miss friends knew now that mr hamel was wearing his best dress in honor of his lost lesson he also realized that the village man had come to pay it respect and thank mr hamel for his service of 40 years in that school right it was because it was because they were sorry too that they had not gone to school more it was their way of thanking our master for their for his 40 years of faithful service and of showing their respect for the country that was theirs no more now now later explains says that the village men had come to the class as they were also uh repenting for not have for not having studied well in their children child um, not studied well in their childhood right the village men had come to the class as they were also repenting for not have studied well in their childhood they had come to thank their teacher for his 40 years of service as a teacher of french also they wanted to show respect to their country and were sad as their mother tongue french would no longer be taught to them now while i was thinking now, now while i was thinking of all this i heard my name called the teacher calls out to friends as he turned to side the topic of pot spells it was it was my turn to recite what i not have given to be able to say that dreadful rule for the pot spells although very loud and clear and without one mistake here one word is that is dreadful dreadful means fighting dreadful means fighting Uh, narrator here explains that as the news had impacted friends what news that now the language that is french would not be taught in the class it would not be taught in the school because the teacher is being transferred now this news had impacted friends this student poor student friends who was disliking his teacher who was disliking uh, his mother language and he was not interested to attend the classes so he was eager to study now he was eager because after new news this news had impacted friends impacted this student he was not eager to study and so he was desperate to show his eager to sh- show his eagerness he wanted to be able to recite the topic in one go and without any mistake and please his teacher his desperation is reflected in his willingness to give away all that he had in return for reciting the lesson well 
right now text but I got mix it but I got mix it up on the first words and stood there holding on to my desk my heart beating and not daring to look up one word here is that is mix it up mix it up means confused now uh, our narrator explains here that our, as friends did not know the lesson he got confused and st stood quietly his heart was beating first as he was ashamed of himself and did not have the courage to face his teacher narrator yahan pe kehta hai ki ye friends jo hai ye student ye apne is lesson ko nahi janta tha participles ko nahi janta tha he does not no even a single word about the board spells wo confused ho gaya aur khade ho gaya quietly aur uska jo dil jo tha wo dhadakta raha kyunki wo apne aap pe sharm ka sharm aata apne aap ko apne aap pe sharm kaata tha and wo apne teacher ko face nahi karta tha so a friend as friends did not know about the lesson he got confused and stood quietly his heart was beating fast as he was ashamed of himself and did not have the courage to face his teacher right i heard next para i heard mr hamel say to me i won't scold you little friends i heard mr hamel says to me i won't scold you i won't scold you little friends you must feel i you must feel bad enough so show see how it is even every day we have studied to ourselves bah i have plenty of time i will learn to it tomorrow and now you see where we have come out here is the word the difficult word I heard Mr. Hamel say to me I heard Mr. Hamel say to me I won't scold you I won't scold you Little friends you must feel bad and see how it is every day we have said to ourselves bah I have plenty of time I will learn it tomorrow and now you are you see where we have come out it means that where we have come out means what is the result of our this of our this uh, work of our uh, of our uh, this uh, laziness where we have come out it means what is the result now let me explain this mr hamel said to friends that he would not scold him i heard mr hamel say i won't scold you that means mr hamel said to this student Uh, that is uh, friends that he would not scold him as now he had realized his mistake now the now this uh, now because he has now realized his mistake every day friends told himself that he would study the next day har din friends apne aap ko kehta tha ki main ab kal sikhunga dusre din sikhunga and kal dusre din sabak padunga and now the opportunity to study had ended and he knew nothing अब जो अपॉर्चुनिटी जो उसको मिली थी कि पढ़ने की वो ख़त्म हो गई दैट हैज़ नाउ एंडेड एंड नाउ ही नोज नथिंग अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट आह नाउ टेक्स्ट आह दैट इज द ग्रेट ट्रबल विथ अलसेस आह दैट इज द ग्रेट ट्रबल विथ अलसेस शी पुट्स ऑफ लर्निंग टिल टमारो नाउ दोज फेलोज out there will have the right to say they will there will have to right to say you how it how is it you pretended to be frenchman and you and yet you can't you can't neither speak nor write your own language but you are not the worst poor little friends we have all a great deal to reproach ourselves with one word here is difficult word that is pretend pretend means to show to reproach means blame now miss the students this 
Later says that Mr. Hamill says that all the people of Alsace were to be blamed. All the people of Alsace were to be blamed as no one was serious towards learning. Right? He tells the colors that the enemies, that is Prussians, would laugh at them and say that they only show to be Frenchmen as they can neither speak nor write their own language. He says that friends should be, be should not feel guilty as everyone is is as is at fault. Friends, sir, teacher, unko samjata hai ki sir, friends ko hi ye guilty conscious kya banana hai? Kyunki koi unme se koi language janta hi nahi. Friends bhi uski bhi guilty hai kyunki wo uski bhi galti hai kyunki usne sikha nahi apni class mein. इतने सालों से बड़े मेहनत से टीचर पढ़ा रहा था लेकिन फ्रेंड्स ने नहीं सीखा हीज हीज एट फॉल्ट बट अदर विलेजर्स दे आर आल्सो एट फॉल्ट सो बिकॉज डिड नॉट डे डू नॉट नो इवन ए सिंगल वर्ड अबाउट अबाउट देयर दिस मदर लैंग्वेज नाउ नेक्स्ट पैरा योर पेरेंट्स वायर नॉट एंक्शियस योर पेरेंट्स वायर नॉट एंक्शियस एन हैव टू हैव यू लर्न They prefer to put you to work on a farm or at the mills, so as to have, so as to have a little money, more money. And I have been, and I, I have been to blame also. Have I not often sent you to water my flowers instead of learning your lessons? And I wanted to go fishing, did not. Just to give you a holiday. Miss uh, dear students, here Mr. Hamill says that Pan's Pan's parents were not interested in getting him educated. Well, Pan's kids, your friends, who are his parents, were not interested in that we give him a good education because they wanted him to work at the farm or a mill. and earn some money they wanted to work they wanted this friends to work uh, at a farm or mill and earn some money he says that as a teacher he was also not interested in teaching them here this teacher also says that as a teacher he also blames himself he also says that he is at fault he was at fault because he was not interested in teaching them he would send them to his to his home to water the plants sometimes she would declare a holiday and go for fishing so all teacher also teaches also to be blamed now the text then from one thing to another mr hamel went on then from one thing to another mr hamel went on to talk of the french went on to talk of the french language says that it was the most beautiful it was the most beautiful language in the world it was the most beautiful language in the world the clearest the clearest the most logical that we must guard it among us and never forget it because when a people when a people are enslaved as long as they hold fast to, the, to their language uh, it is as if they had the like to their prison now here narrator says that <coughs> mr hamel praises their mother tongue Mr. Hamel, the teacher, who said that praises their mother tongue, French language as being the most beautiful. This French language is the most beautiful, the clearest, and most logical language in the world. He explains them this French language is the most beautiful language. It is the clearest and most logical language in the world. He tells the class to guard their language as it is the only way to free oneself from the prison of slavery. This. that says that if a person knows his mother tongue well no one can enslave him koi bhi usko enslave nahi kar sakta hai koi bhi usko band nahi rakh sakta koi bhi usko apna tabia nahi bana sakta hai aur koi bhi usko 
slave nahi ban sakte hain knowing his knowing the mother tongue as well as a language is due to fight domination now text then he opened the grammar then he opened the grammar and read us uh, us our lesson i was amazed to see how well i understood it and all he said seemed so easy so easy i think too that i had never listened so carefully and that he had never explained everything with so much patience and he had never explained everything with such no patience it seemed almost as if the poor man wanted to give all all give us all he know about he he know he knew before going away and to put it all into our heads at one stroke here one word is one stroke at one stroke means at once in one go now narrator here says that the teacher took a lesson in grammar the teacher took a lesson in grammar that day friends was surprised that he understood the lesson with ease right now friends was surprised that he understood the whole lesson of that class because he was interested he felt that he had been attentive and that mr hamel was also explained the lesson with a lot of patience friend felt friends felt that the teacher wanted to give them all the knowledge he had before leaving so because in the learning process both should be attentive teacher as well as the students on the on that day that was a lost day us din mein teacher mein bhi teacher mein teachers teacher mein bhi interest thi और स्टूडेंट्स में भी इंटरेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट था तो दोनों ने सीख लिया उसने ठीक तरह से डिलीवर किया टीचर ने तो स्टूडेंट ने अंडरस्टैंड किया ठीक तरह से सो now after the grammar we had a lesson in writing that day mr hamel had new copies for us written in a beautiful round hand france elsays france elsays so after that we had a lesson in writing that day mr hamel had put new copies for us written a beautiful round hand france elsays france elsays now here writer says that after grammar they had a lesson in writing mr hamel gave the class new notebooks with france elsays france elsays beautifully written on them right they looked like little flags they looked like little flags floating everywhere in the school room hung from the red at the top of our desks they looked like little flags floating everywhere in the school room hung from the rod at the top of our desks you ought to have seen how everyone sat to work and how quiet it was the only sound was the scratching of the pens or the papers here here narrator says that friend friends felt that there was an air of it patriotism in the class the notebooks were like flags of france that were floating all around the entire class was busy writing and the only sound that he could that could be heard was that of the opening up of the pens writing on the paper thank you very much